Hello everyone. Now let's check how to use the DFL Seagate hard drive firmware repair tool to access one 5 TB laptop hard drive firmware and do some necessary firmware repair. We have power on the drive and we select the hard drive family to get the hard drive ID. Now we can see the model number and the capacity. This one is 5TB and this model is SD5000LM000. Now we try to enter the program. For this kind of drive, we can see the family is M11. And model list often failed. That means the model list is empty here. So within the COM terminal, we can try to enter the F3T and then control L. And we can find out that the bare glow stick port knocked. So that means the firmware arrow is knocked. In order to access to this firmware arrow and do some necessary firmware repair, we must unlock the firmware arrow. Now let's check how to unlock the firmware arrow. ROM operations read ROM now we need to back up the ROM first ROM read and write needs to be ROM within the boot mode Now we try to change to another but read. Now the program is reading the wrong. Now here is the parse to save the ROM. And we can see that it's F3 family, M11. Now the model, the SN number, and this is ROM file, saved with the serial number. We can see that here is the serial number. Now we can see that the ROM backup has completed. Next step to unlock the firmware error. Now we can find out the menu called Generate Unlock ROM. And we select this original ROM. Then we select this parse to save the unlock ROM. Click OK. Now we can see that in the lock window we can find out the operation success now next we need to write the unlock ROM so here we need to select this unlock ROM to write 
click OK. No, ROM write complete. Next, we need to power on and power on drive. Now, in COM terminal, we can find out this handshake value. So, we just need to simply click send unlock key. Now, to see if the firmware has been unlocked or not, we can Control Z to enter the F3T prompt and then Control L. Now we can find out the family and other hard drive ID information has been detected properly by Control L. And we can see the family ID is 72 and M11. This is a family name, M11 here. So this family name is from the control L. And this information is from the hard drive itself. And this is actually defined from the Seagate factory. So this means the hard drive firmware error has been unlocked successfully. Now let's try to create this program. Don't power off the drive and we can enter the hard drive again. Now, let's check the model list is available. And here, read SYS file. This means users can now back up the firmware modules such as this this important firmware modules and uh, the program is reading them within the ATM mode. So this one is very easy now. In ATM mode, the backup process is very fast. Now we can see that the operation completed all three important 
as well as files have been completed. Now, after users enter this firmware error and back up the important as well as files, next the users can start the firmware repair. And it's very easy now because within the DFS Seagate firmware repair program, only if you have the original backup of the necessary important firmware modules and there are some common repair menus here. So users can find out the right solution to fix the firmware failure by simple clicks. Now common repair and these common repair menus. So all these firmware repair solution can be selected according to the COM terminal message. So when users see or check the error messages within the COM terminal, then users can select the solution here accordingly. It's very easy.